In the world of aeronautics, the helicopter is the ideal go-anywhere machine. Unlike airplanes, choppers can move in almost any direction and take off and land straight up and down. Now that we've coptered your attention, let's see what goes into building these whirlybirds. Man has always wanted to fly, and the versatility of the helicopter has allowed him to reach unexpected heights. Plans for a helicopter are created with the CATCHA 3D Design Assistant computer software. It takes 700 hours of work between the drawing stage and the assembly of the pattern. The helicopter is made of carbon fiber, a composite material lighter and stronger than steel, protected by two layers of green plastic. The fiber is cut with a blade controlled by ultrasound. They lay on several thicknesses of fiber to make the rear fuselage. The green light of a laser helps position the parts. Then with a heat gun, they apply a beehive web which increases the solidity of the structure. But the carbon fiber is still soft. To harden, it must be baked under pressure for 10 hours in this autoclave oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. The pieces exit the oven and head for machining. The door of the motor housing is kept in a cutting jig and is shaped with a manual shaper. Before installing the parts, they strike the carbon fiber with a residence hammer to detect any faults. The electrical harness is mounted on a pattern before being installed in the aircraft. This particular helicopter has 2,570 yards of wiring, but others can have almost six miles. The wiring will be connected to the flight instruments panel, the brain of the helicopter. This aircraft has 9,964 rivets fastened with a gun and a ram. They also apply a sealant to prevent corrosion creating humidity. They now assemble the helicopter's rear fuselage. Piece by piece, the aircraft takes shape. They will install mechanical components later. The motor arrives. This one weighs 260 pounds and has to be carefully handled. Among the other parts to be installed is the circular plate on which the blades will be attached. Safety is primary. The screw nut holes are perforated allowing for the insertion of the brake cable. This tightly braided metal wire prevents the nut from loosening due to strong vibrations. Now they bolt on the four blades, which makes the helicopter fly. Weighing 90 pounds each, they're made of composite materials and an aluminum alloy. They're attached to the main rotor. The dashboard is installed in the cockpit and all the wires are hooked up. Contact is established and all is functioning properly. The last step, finishing the interior of the craft. They install seats, safety belts, the consoles, bulkheads, windows and doors, as well as the trimmings. The helicopter is almost completed, but it still has to be painted. When done, the helicopter is towed outside the assembly hangar. Flight tests are performed to make sure that mechanical and electrical components are functioning properly. It requires an average of 110 days to assemble the more than 3,000 parts of a helicopter like this one. And they turn out almost 185 units each year. These three-ton engines are capable of reaching speeds of 140 knots and flying at a maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. <laughs>